a Martian. I wasn't really expecting the controversy. I didn't ever really see myself as like a provocative, you know, character. But um, I mean, I guess I, I had been in Cademan's a little, but that was easy because you know half of our material was written by another guy, this guy Aaron Tate, great songwriter, but he was, had, was really gifted to write songs for radio and pop songs. He was amazing at it, but still folk rock. I mean, he was great. I wrote all the other songs. So I wrote, you know, the um, songs you didn't, you didn't know if you came to a caveman show. Those were all my songs. And, um, but I think there was something about coming out. Cademan's had, this was, uh, more than half of Cademan's career was pre-internet, right? So we were burning off cassettes for people. We were um, sitting at restaurants. We were announcing what restaurant we were going to after the show, during the show, and inviting the whole crowd to come with us. I mean, we were like, the bus would be honking a horn trying to get us to come out because we'd be in there just wanting to meet every last person. We really cared about our tribe of people who had, were resonating with what we were doing. And so by the end of 10 years, they were very supportive of us. They would just drive cross country to see our shows. They were really, really rabid, supportive, generous group of people. So I, I had a feeling that at least some contingency of them would come with me and support me. And so having that feeling going into my solo career easily changed the choices that I was making. She Must Shall Go Free is a very unlikely debut record for any artist because it does um, have some hard subject matter. It has some difficult language in it, the result of which was the record not getting carried in a lot of Christian retail chains, which was something we had to deal with. And, but I, and I'm kind of glad, honestly, so I didn't see it coming because I'd been spoiled with this incredible support from Cademan's audience. So I felt very brave to do that and to say those things that I felt they were important. Also because I had kind of talked that stuff over with the people who mattered and who had a voice to speak into my life at that point, which were like my the pastor of my church, my wife, my, my closest friends. I was playing them the songs, concerned. What do you guys think about this? I mean, this is rough. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm getting into some tricky territory in terms of the Bible, into Ezekiel, into Hosea. I mean, I, you don't hear a lot of sermons from those areas, at least not in the big churches, you know, that, that depend on their offering plates real heavily. So, I mean, I was nervous about it. I played for my friends. Once they all said, man, we think this is good. We think it's right. We think you should sing these songs. We're behind you. We support this. Then I didn't really care what anybody said. And, um, and I actually, looking back, I feel like it was a very um, uh, fortuitous kind of precedent for me to set. Because from that point forward, as I was finding my voice as an artist, which writing five songs per Cademan's album for 10 years, I hadn't found my voice yet. I wasn't saying enough at once to find it. Writing 10, 12 songs per album per year, you find your voice. You figure out what you have to say, how you're going to say it. And as I was doing that, I did wind up having more an eye for the subject matter that other people, for whatever reason, just weren't writing songs about. My, my, I, as I was kind of looking at the world trying to tell you what I see, which is an artist's job description, I just gravitated towards those more provocative issues. And so it was a good precedent to set early on. Yeah. So a few months ago, I realized it was coming up on the 10 year anniversary of Shema Shaga Free. When I was thinking about it, I realized that we never toured it. Um, I put the record out and we had a tour planned, as Kenny could, will remember. Um, we had a tour planned. We're going to bring everybody out and do it. And some things, you know, happened and some things fell through and some folks and it just confusion ensued. And, 